guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm, and look, I'm about to play doctor. <laughs> I'm actually gonna, getting ready to do my husband's feet. So I have, or foot, because he had an amputation. So I have the Listerine out to put on his toenails. I'm going to clip his toenails. <laughs> I got all the, what do you call it, the machinery, but my husband, um, he had his leg amputated and he's getting ready, praise God, to get his prosthetic on soon. So keep us in prayer for that. But I thought you would, I thought, I kind of got a laugh. I kind of thought I'll leave a little memory <laughs> of the days that I had to do some of these uh, as his wife, you know. But I've got my gloves, my mask, and uh, I have like a little thing I lay under his feet. Just like if he went to the foot doctor, but because he's having a hard time getting around, I'm going to take care of him for that. But uh, I always make sure everything is super, super, super clean. <laughs> so God has been with us. And keep us in prayer as Clay's recovering and uh, everything. And uh, But I did think it was kind of funny. Oh, I even got my shield glasses, you know, working on feet. <laughs> I used to be a real prissy girl, prissy, prissy. And now it's like, hey, living on a backyard farm. Things good dose of reality of life you know but I love my husband so much he's been so wonderful to me and I looked at his feet and I said I gotta do your feet <laughs> so but this is how I prepare to do feet because I do have to do his feet and or foot foot so we'll pray for him he's going to get his prosthetic soon and we're believing the Lord that he's up and walking and moving around I asked him a few times if he wanted to do a video there's my chickens and uh, he didn't he's just kind of playing dinosaur game Jurassic Park dinosaur game he's got another game he plays and he's watching news and TV and just relaxing and uh, that's good for him he does projects projects for me too but he has been down for almost a year I was looking at a YouTube he's had some like issues going back so that's been a long time for him so keep him in prayer and this is his birthday month he is going to be 67 this year so I'm believing God for great things and the thing I wanted to share with you, too, is Jesus is the great physician, and he has many physicians under him. And if you are a caregiver for somebody, God is using you. He says, like, if you give someone a cup of cold water, he's using you, and you can do it with joy and love and all that. And, uh, you know, the days you get tired, you say, Lord, just give me the strength. Send me angel help. My mother used to always say, send me angel help. And, and I've always been like, weird, so many people get like weirded out about angels. But you can pray for angel help to help you, but just don't get like weird. God strengthens you, but he does send angels to help people. Angels came and strengthened Jesus after he was tempted by the devil and stuff. But uh, anyway, so didn't want to be out there too long, but I thought you'd get a kick out of that. So if you have to do feet for somebody, maybe you just want to minister to somebody. Maybe there's somebody in your area that you know you can bless. Pray about it first. You know, make sure it's okay with their doctor. But I'm doing uh, my husband's feet. Got my mask on. Got my things. Got my goggles. And uh, I don't want anything flying in my face. Got my pedicure stuff. And uh, I just thought this would be encouraging, especially if you're a home health aide. You know, God can help you through that. It can be the most joyous moment of your life. And I liked what... Um, Somebody said about Paul being a prisoner, because everybody's like, oh, it's, you know, because a lot of attention goes to the person you're caring for. You're kind of like the unwanted guy in the background. But, you know, you have opportunities to witness to people now that you'll never have again. Nurses, doctors, people you see, people that come over to visit. So take advantage. That's what Paul preached when he was in prison and uh, got up to, I think, Caesar's Palace. He preached every guard that was trained to him. So take that opportunity, okay? So I just got laughing because I'm kind of a kid at heart. And so I said, look, I got a mask. <laughs> There's an old video, too, if you look around in my videos, of me in a shark outfit. <laughs> it was something set for a review. So, you know, dress up and playing doctor. <laughs> so anyway, remember, big or small, you too could be a backyard farm. And do pray for Clay and I, especially for Clay. Okay, guys, bye-bye. See you in the next video.